Okay. Well, greetings, humble boys, girls, and of course, gifted animals. How are you today? We're back here again. Our costume crew, our KK, uh, didn't do a good job of no. really uh, doing their job. And honestly, the dressing rooms have been a proper mess back there. My proper, God. proper, proper mess. No one's cleaning or doing laundry. Yeah, we. I mean, no one's cleaning fired. up after themselves. Anyway. So, what are we doing today? We got something from Popeye. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. So while uh, we were out and about in Carl Topia, uh, we got a dessert. Now, as you can see, I'm going to hold it up for reference. The depth, okay? Now, this is a cheesecake Oreo dessert brought to you by Popeye himself, the spinach eating uh, Ooh, wonder man. Uh, and the price on this before we eat it is going to make. Your spiciest uncle's blue collar dollar shutter. What is it? It is three ninety nine way too for much. one, it's way which too is much. pretty much like bakery. That's way too uh, much. Cafe prices. Jeez. I know. I agree. But you know, everyone's been asking hey. back home for a review on this, and who am I to say no? I'm not going to do a dessert. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't sound like spicy Carly. Yeah, yeah. So it's not ketchup. This is barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. You can, you can have some of your chicken nuggets from last Cute. week. Yes, from last week. Grab your spoon, spicy uncle. Oh, right. That's right there behind Pup. Pup, you are not getting any. That's spicy chocolate. Pup. Okay. All right. All right, shall we? Hey, we dip stuff in here. Dip, dip, dip. Okay, go dip, ahead. Dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip. Yep. He said thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I thought you said dip, dip. I thought he did too at first. Looks pretty good. Consistency is fluffy. Oreos. Look Oreo. Hmm. Wow. Thicker than this pan. I was got a cookie crust, actually, too. Here, can you hold this? Look at that. It even has the integrity of a crust underneath. I really thought this was just going to be a whipped kind of... Um, non-baked dessert. Can babies have chocolate but, um, or are they like dogs? Well, let's find out, shall we? Mmm. Oh, whoops. No, Pop. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's pretty good, actually. What do you think? It's good, but it's not worth $4. I agree. <clears throat> It's it's all right. It tastes. Uh, if this was like one ninety nine, really? I think it tastes great. It tastes like it's baked. Like, you know the difference between a baked cheesecake and a non-baked cheesecake taste? Look at this kid. Oh, go on, pup. Get your spicy coat and leave. That was mean. Spicy all right. Carlita is gonna get fired next. I think it's good. I think the Oreos don't have a good integrity, actually. I think they're a little stale. I think one of the biggest things that I look for in a confectionery, be it, or even ice cream, how good are the Oreos? Because it tells you the quality of it and how long it's standing. That's not true. If yes, it's it a, is. If it's a mixture of dairy substances that was baked, I will how are they going to stay crunchy? If you put it out quickly. If you... If you think about it, when's the last time you had an Oreo in a Dairy Queen ice cream cake oh being my God. soggy? Rarely happens. Okay, Dairy Queen is not all that in a bag of chips. I'm just saying that's a standard for how an Oreo should be in a blizzard. I'm going to make a homemade cheesecake with Oreos in it, and we'll see if they're still crunchy afterwards. It better be. They won't. That's not how that works. It's just chemistry. I think it's okay. I think it's totally overrated. It's all right. There's something's wrong with the cheesecake. Though. I should have asked you to try it before I told you the price. I feel like you'd have a different opinion. I just don't think that it. Uh, I think it's great, honestly. You know, I just I think something's off with the cheesecake. Actually, I think it's a little bit. Um, I don't know, like sour almost, like uh, like it, it's curdled. Have you ever tried like a New York cheesecake? They're almost like kind of sourish, almost. You know what I mean? So, comparing your spiciest aunt mm -hmm. to your spiciest uncle, and in relation to her comment about 
Have I lived in New York? One I don't of, even have them. One of us has, and one of us has not. Can you guess? <laughs> so. It was peanut the whole time. It was. Actual spicy pup, too. She spent a couple of her teenage years in there. Yeah, it was a that's whole why she's thing. so direct. And she hates when there's no parking. And she's going to bark at people. I think this is totally <laughs> overrated. I think it's going to be a 4.217. Go ahead. Honestly? Very disappointing. A four? That's pretty high considering your thoughts. I think it's good. I mean, I just think it's off and I think that it's like old and I think that it's like... Whoa. Nope. Oh, he my just God. ate the barbecue sauce. Yep. Okay. There's barbecue everywhere. Yep. A barbecue explosion here at the Spice Car Family Network. Bite. I don't know why. I'm going to rate it a... Uh, we would have that here. 5.2. A week later on set with barbecue sauce on that fork. Oh, actually. what is wrong? Whoops. I noticed that as I was going into your mouth. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> Not good with barbecue. Well, there you have it. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. And, you know, stay healthy. All right. All right. God bless. Hope to see you again. As always, you take care.